Where is that fish that should be here? Toyota Truck presents Fish TV in high definition. Brought to you in part by Mercury, number one on the water. And Rapala, crafted from experience. With your hosts, Leo Stakos and Ron James. Show. I'm Leo Stockton. And I'm Rod James. And I'll tell you what, guys, 2010 Celebrity Showdown, all for the Princess Margaret Hospital Foundation. Right? Can't wait, buddy. Look at this. And look at the weather. Best crew. Best. Hey, you know what? No rain this year. No rain. Love it. Never. No rain. If you remember oh, last yeah. year, we got dumped on. And you know what? The only dumping on that's going to happen is all the fish is going to be going back on the water. Absolutely. Guys, are we ready to go? Yeah! Let's go get a fish to be Celebrity Showdown. Stick around. You're not going to want to miss You're the action. Love Let's it. go! All right, guys, the Fish TV Celebrity Showdown. We're starting off with our first pro angler and our good friend, Mr. Russell Peters, Mike Brown, Russell Peters. Guys, what's the game plan for today? Well, we were up here a couple of days ago, and I found that the bulk of the fish were in the water. So that's what we're going to concentrate on. So water. far, we're in good shape, as long as they keep the fish in the water and then in our boat. OK, is he full of crap? Does he know where the fish are? I think he does. He's, he's, he's playing you guys for fools. Well, I follow fools, you I every you. time, so... Listen, guys, I really got to thank you very much for coming down here. Russell, it's a pleasure having you down here. It's a great cause for the Princess Margaret Hospital Foundation. I got to be honest with you, I'm a little nervous, because when we get back, we're going to be fresh off the boat. <laughs> Again. Okay, what's the uh, game plan there, Frankie? Same thing as every year, Nick. Just going to go out there and have some fun, and have some great conversation, and... Hopefully come back a winner. This, this is my man, I was with him last year. And if you look, his son's in the boat right there and I said, listen, I want to win this year. He laughed at me and said he put a box of tissues in the boat so that he's no, not confident in his dad. I'm confident that we're going to win. We're going to we're gonna we're do gonna, We're going to we'll squeak one out this year. Our good friend Darren Shrinkback, Steve Colby, welcome back once again, guys. Great to be here. Glad to be here. Awesome job. You guys are big supporters here of the Princess Margaret Hospital Foundation. What's the game plan today? Our uh, game plan is to go out there and make sure we have more pounds this year than we did last season. Quite a few more, Steve, because this year you're going to put some big fish in the boat. You're going to be throwing a swim bait, and we're going for big fish. A swim bait? Do you think you're in we're the going States? Bait. We're going bait. A swim bait. Okay, now I've heard everything. We're on Lake Scugog. The average depth of eight feet, he's going to throw a swim bait. This is going to be a lot of fun, guys. We'll see how they do. All right, Danny, you've won this event before. Yep. So now you've got the shooter, Aaron Douglas, from the bridge right here on Lake Scugog. Aaron, thank you very much for coming up, buddy. I really Thanks appreciate that. Me. Thanks for having me. So now you do know you, you've been you were the previous champion here. Well, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm with him, because I'm no going to be pressure. absolutely useless. I am uh, counting on him to catch all the fish, and I will drink all the beer. Well, you know, nice. what the, you know what the thing is? Danny just told me he's counting on you to catch all the fish, so I don't know what's going on there. Well, then we're fracked, aren't we? <laughs> Uh, well, looks like we're faced with some cold front conditions again this year. Uh, paid off last year. Uh, I like this kind of weather. Uh, we're going to be fishing shallow most of the day, thick stuff. I have no idea. This is not my thing right now. I'm a professional fisherman, basketball player, so we're just going to go out. We went out a couple of days ago. Um, I didn't do too well. Hopefully I can do better. <laughs> dirty worm, dirty worm. Toby says he's going to kick someone's butt. I'm not sure whose butt it's going to be. This guy, right here. Useless. But I'll tell you what, it's bridge against bridge. And also, don't forget my good friend, Craig Butler. Thanks so much for coming out here again, man. Pleasure.
All right, Brian Marchman, you've been here since day one. I, I want to say a special thank you, first of all. You've started the event with us, and you've been here every single year. You know what? i, I got to ask you a question. Why do you do this? You have all these things to do. Why do you do this? Well, for one, it's a lot of fun. I have a passion for fishing. And two, you guys, you and Ron and your family and friends have done an unbelievable job raising money for charity. Billy? Yes. Billy? Billy? Yes. You've been at this, this event since day one. Yes, sir. Has anything changed? Not, well, there's quite a bit that's changed. I'll tell you what's changed. Yeah. We got Mr. Johnny Anderson that's here right. fishing with Mr. Bill Nichols, and apparently he's an ace in the hole. Is that true? Well, what else are you going to do on Canada Day, eh? July 1st, you got to get your back bacon on a bun first off, and then you go out and about on your bass boat catching some bass. But I hope we have a great day, and it's nice to meet Bill and you guys out here, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Well, we really appreciate you guys coming down here. You know what? Bill's been a big supporter of the event from day one. What's the game plan? To catch big bass. And beat every one of those guys we just took off. We lost to the cop. Hopefully we're going to finish first. Not what we're looking for. I didn't even get him in the mouth. He snagged in the nose. Wouldn't I want a more underwater lure? Or is it too weedy? Too weedy. Got to get your weedies. Well, it's always nice. Uh, Leo was making fun of us on the way out here about our big swim baits and how we were bringing this across the border uh, to try to catch some fish and trying to get something from the south to work up here in the north. Well. How about a parting shot across the bow? We've got one small one in the box and a nice smallie that departs down the lake. I have caught a weed. I like the disco worm I have with the little sparkles. So Aaron, how do you like filming the bridge? Does it take a long time to film an episode or? Uh... Seven days. So do you enjoy doing it? Yeah, we have a gas. My buddy Toby's on the show too. He's on one of these boats over here somewhere. As long as he doesn't catch a fish, then uh, I'll be all good. This could be a fish right here. Thank you. I think it's a pretty good one. Hey, it's a keeper, you know what? Good job on the net. Three more, buddy. Coop from the spawn. Just a little buck, but... Dude, anybody sitting on a seat fishing isn't much of a fisherman in my books. <laughs> he looks a little too relaxed for playing the game seriously. This is probably the uh, first time Second time, okay, maybe third time this summer since I've been able to go fish since the season. Simple, flapping shad, top of the pad, see if I can get a fish to do something, just move. If I can spook a fish, that'll give me a little bit of hope right now. That's our first fish of the day, caught on a flipping jig made by, well, made by me. Good fish, brother. Good fish. Ooh, oh, good give me some of that. All right. That's my blood right we there. We got two. Woo! I'm telling you, brother, right off that sand. Look at that. Good, solid fish. Almost, huh? There we go. No larger, eh? Dark, he's dark, eh? 
you saw him there or? Nice little guy, we'll start today like that. So I guess we need a little bit better than those, this one. Yeah, well I think if we're just a little bit patient, that's a small one, we're gonna need more quality fish than that obviously, but uh, whatever, it's a start, we got one. We're off to a very slow start. It's always good when you're out fishing though, so. It's like hockey, it's gotta shoot it between these two pontoons, right? I want you to get your lure right up in between those pontoons, that's the way. John, you're gonna have to prove it to me there's a bass in there. Come on, get your lure in there. Well, I got it stuck in the tree, so that's a, that's a good start. Did you have a hit there? Yeah, it came right to the surface. So how many years did you play for the Leafs, John? Eight. Eight glorious years. Well, that wouldn't be the adjective that I would use, but uh, it was eight years. Have you ever seen such maniacal fans as the Toronto fans? Certainly uh, the passion and the, uh, you know, the, the thought about hockey is year-round here, you know, and uh, you know, growing up in Toronto, I do understand it. Get him out of there, buddy. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Atta boy. Atta boy, Sap. There we go. Now they got their third one. They're on a roll. The bite's starting, folks. A dice one, buddy. I'm the fish like Bob Marley. All right, we should get one off one of these three dogs, so. Yeah. Oh no. I got him. <laughs> life, life again. There we go. Nice one again. Now we got two cute ones. Oh, we got him. Huh? Yeah. Somebody's caught him before. Well, what do you think, Brian? It's kind of a slow day. Uh, we're not doing as good as we usually do, but uh, for what we're faced with with the weather, I think it's going okay, and let's just hope that things pick up, eh? I think so. We've got a couple of, I think about another hour or so before uh, we got to head back in, so hopefully we can get some bigger fish. Yep, get these guys back in the well. Is he going to put a fishing rod in the water? Or? No. Portions of Fish TV are sponsored in part by Toyota Truck, Never Quit, and Coffee Time, where coffee time. Is he there? Oh. Bud, you just blew one of that tree. <laughs> You've been waiting all day for that bite, brother. <laughs> These guys have been fishing so hard today. It's so tough fishing. It is unbelievable. We pull up on, on Mike here and Russell Peters. He throws in by a tree. Bingo. Gets a fish and loses it. How tough is that? It's time for Motor Guide Tackle Box. Okay guys, I guess nobody took me seriously last year when I tried to give you the tip because nobody beat me this year. But I didn't change a thing. I did the exact same thing I did last year, guys, and all it is is a miniature sized flipping jig, one of my own. It's called the Punisher Jig. All I did was slow down a little today. We had cold front conditions. It was a lot tougher. It was really windy out there. I took my time, fished a little slower, and manufactured the quality bites I got to win today. We finally hooked back up with Brian Marshman and Fabio. We got a couple of fish finally. I'm telling you, it's been a tough day, folks, but people are catching fish. Look at this, you're gonna see some screw dog large ones right here. I'll tell you what, they're not that big, but at this rate, they're not that bad. 
There has not been a lot of fish caught, I'm telling you. I've been going through boats and a lot of them got zero, and a lot of them got some fish. You're gonna see some good fish, but they're just gonna turn on, bud. Okay, guys, we just hooked up with Danny Dunn and Aaron Douglas. I'll tell you, they had a little bit of problems this morning. We got it sorted out. We got him in another boat. He's just starting to fish now. He's, a, he's got a late start, but if I know Danny, he'll put him in the boat. Aaron's first time in the, in the Celebrity Showdown. We're going to hook up with him in just a second. We're going to jump on the boat and see how they're doing. Okay, guys, we just hooked up with Danny Dunn and Aaron Douglas. Aaron, first time Celebrity Showdown. What do you think, buddy? Man, these boats go fast. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's like a NASCAR, isn't it's it? It's unbelievable. Yeah. NASCAR, but a convertible NASCAR. Yeah, you guys had a little bit of a problem. We blew up his boat. Yeah, yeah. The, this morning. Looks like we seized up the lower unit this morning coming down at the blast off, which was quite ironic because we were first out of the hole, flying down the lake, and then everybody started to pass us. Yeah, so. just one, 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 one. Well, yeah. we fixed you up. You did? Yeah. We got, we, we have spare boats, so. But you know what the problem is? What's you that? took his boat and we had 38 fish in the live well. <laughs> and now you say that. It's over the limit. You're giving us a boat with no fish. Uh, How fair is that? You will get fish. Okay, guys, we hooked up with Craig Butler and Toby Proctor. Actor from the bridge, first time at the Celebrity Showdown. Craig has been second in this tournament before. They're having a tough time. They've worked the outside of the weeds. Now they've moved really, really shallow. He's only spooked two fish. I mean, this cold front has got to be doing something. We've been around to a lot of boats. You're going to have to wait and see how many fish come in, but you're going to be surprised. There's going to be a few big bags that you could trust me on that one. Okay, guys, we just hooked up with Greg Roth and Eric Reese. You guys, we kind of got a late start this morning, but you guys got some fish. Yeah, we uh, we pulled it up, up to our first spot. We didn't have any practice yesterday. We wanted to scout the lake out, but we went to spots that we normally uh, catch fish right I heard away. You got a the phones are ringing, everybody's well, well, curious. We, we've got a couple fish right off the bat, so we're, we're anxious to get back up there. So You guys fished together last year, Eric? Unbelievable. I called you. He, he's I, a fast fisherman, though, right? I'm learning stuff every day with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let's see these fish. I'm telling you what, you're in for a treat, folks. Lake Scugog Largemouth right here. Watch this. Look at that. Now that's what you call a Lake Scugog Largemouth. Nice job, buddy. All right, boys. Listen, you guys got a lot of time to go, man. There's a lot, there's a lot more. You're due to win this, brother. Uh, it's been a couple of years. So you're due to win this. We're Let's, trying. You yeah. guys are trying. Listen, stick around, folks. We're going to be right back with some more Fish TV action. Good job, fella. <laughs> How many people can use a pool table in their house? Every single penny goes towards the Princess Market Hospital Foundation. I that, that big lure right there has been signed by every single celebrity that was here today. It's That's signed right. by Russell Peters. It's signed by Nick Antrofon. It's Rod Real alone. $200 dollars combo right there. We're going to start the bidding off at $200 right now. Give me $250. We need $250. Thank you very much. $250. Week. $300, ladies and gentlemen. 300 we are going to bring our professional angler, Mike Brown, and the one and only, Russell Peters, to the stage. Let's hear it up there. Well, guess what? Yeah. I see you caught some fish, man. Well, Mikey caught the fish today. I was uh, I had a nap when I was out there. I see that. Hey, you, came by, you came by right as I was having a nap, though. It, was, it wasn't like I was, I was fishing all morning, and then, and then I got bored. <laughs> because there's so many fish in that water. <laughs> and then he caught these two little bass turds. Uh, <laughs> Let's get these fish right up there, Mikey. Before things start getting out of hand, 254 for your leaders right now. 54 pounds of fish. <laughs> this lake is pretty good. <laughs> But if you guys don't stock it with fish, somebody going to get a hug real bad. <laughs> Mr. Grant Mills and our very good friend Brian Skinner from the Los Angeles Clippers. Brian, did you have fun today? I had a hard day today. <laughs> <laughs> you, you won this event. Was it last year or the year before? Three years ago. Three years ago? <laughs> yeah. A long time ago. Uh, you kind of let somebody else win once in a while, Brian. Oh, they did that last year. 
<laughs> it was tough, Leo. I mean, we're faced with a, a severe cold front here today. We've had high winds for a few days, cold nights. And I knew when we went out this morning that it was going to be a battle to catch some fish. Let's see how much weight you have there, Grant. Throw the 782 new oh, leaders. Yeah, new leaders. Yeah. There you go, folks. Oh, here it out there. Let's here for these guys. Grant yeah. Roth and Eric Reitz. Come on up, guys. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to find out right now if they are going to take the lead. 10 pounds, 11 ounces, your new leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause one more time for Mr. Eric Reitz and Greg Roth. Thank you very much, Greg. We'll see you inside there, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, big supporters of the event, Darren Shrinkback, Steve Colby. Steve Colby. Your Washington Capitals announcer. How was your day? Well, our day was really good. Darren uh, held off his end of the bargain from the front of the boat, and I think we've got enough weight here to contend and try to take this title back south of the border. Well, let's see if they do, in fact, take over the lead. Our Waymaster says... 10, 85, New Year! <laughs> Who's one of the best hockey players in the world? Nick Antropop is here. Come on up, guys. All right, Jared. Go over there with Ronnie there, buddy. Come on, buddy. You got a bag of fish. I know you do. I know you do. Let's... How was it? How was the day today? I was a little bit rough, but I mean, all I care is if I beat Russell Pierce, I'll be happy. You know? <laughs> Jared, it was tough, wasn't it? Yeah, it, uh, I like this lake. It uh, definitely was tough today. We spent an hour at the dock with a broke controller motor. Everywhere we went, it was extremely windy, and we were just battling and battling and getting stuck on docks and wood. And, it was a nightmare. We tried calm water where there was no fish, but we talked it out and got five bites. So are we ready to find out if they're going to be champions once again for two years in a row? You're me. And still, still champions. Darren D and Nick Antifrop, 13-23. So the Celebrity Showdown champions again. And ladies and gentlemen, you have been a fantastic crowd. Once again, congratulations to our 2010 Celebrity Showdown champion, Jared D, Nick Antropoff, Ron D. What a great day. Absolutely, folks. It's, it's, it's all up to you guys now. Let's do it. Let's all raise some money. All right, folks. Until next week, I'm Leo Stockton. And I'm Ron D. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. Fish TV has been brought to you in part by PJ's Pets. Next to you, we're your pet's best friend. Robin's Donuts, fresh, fast, and friendly. And Rapala, crafted from experience.